Moscow city at the scene in Warsaw, the scene of a murder. As you can see there, people, buskers still doing what they do, and people still going about their day-to-day -day lives. This is the third cordon, and flowers are already being placed at the scene. Is it a Weatherspoons, do you know, lad? Looks like a Weatherspoons, don't you? Know. I, I don't think know it's now. a Weatherspoons. I know Kim that runs the Black Country Arms, but in terms of what's just there, I'm not too sure. You you mean right by where the tent is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, outside, sure. is that, could it I'm just have sure, been where yeah. the person maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Must have been a popular person. I really appreciate you joining me today and this is a breaking news story. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and follow on social media as well. This story comes from Warsaw. It's just outside of Birmingham, a few miles outside of Birmingham. It broke up 1.20 a.m. yesterday and I was at the scene very early hours of this morning. I've managed to gather as much coverage of the scene to be able to build up a picture and I've also been able to identify through friends that have paid respects at the scene the name of the victim. Police have launched a murder investigation after a male was attacked by an armed gang in Warsaw Town Centre in the early hours of yesterday. The victim is aged in their 20s and I'm not sure of the gender at the moment but their name is Bailey. He rushed to hospital but died an hour and a half later. A large part of the town centre is cordoned off. Extra stop and search powers are in effect in the local area and a cordon covers the large majority of the actual town centre. It goes all the way round the market square, all the way round Poundland, all the way to B&M. When I arrived there was a lot of traffic due to the Warsaw Leicester game that is occurring today and there has also been warnings to avoid that area for anybody that is travelling in that local area. There is not much that we can confirm in relation to the case right now, but all we do know is that the man was attacked by multiple people with weapons. And this is obviously going to be devastating to the family. And from the tributes that I've seen, there were so many people that this person obviously meant a lot to. And I'm assuming also that he was a local person. And for several men to not only attack one person with several people, but to attack them with weapons is the definition of being a coward. And my condolences go to this young person's family. And I can't imagine yeah. what they must be going That's through. But at the same time, this is becoming a much more regular occurrence where gangs of people are attacking one person and beating them or stabbing them to death. And it's there's just no excuse for it at the end of the day there is nothing wrong unless you're a coward to have a one-on-one -on -one fight and just let that be it due to the fact this occurred in the middle of the town center and it was the early hours of the morning i would assume also that this may be connected to a local pub where people have been drinking they've been out and they may be bumped into somebody they don't like or there was some sort of tip off and somebody got the location of somebody that they had a problem with and decided to turn up with not only several people but also weapons and attacked this male who they believe was unarmed and murdered him the post-mortem examination is yet to be completed, so we don't know if he was beaten to death, if, if he was stabbed, if he was hit over the head with something. And I'm not going to speculate. Uh, the forensics were at the scene today when I was there, and there is a blue tent as well erected just down from the pub that is you can see in the video. But as it stands right now, there have been no arrests, and this is a pending breaking news story. So I'll definitely keep you updated on this. Again, I send my condolences to the family of Bailey. And when there's further identification and confirmation, I will definitely follow up with this story. I really appreciate you joining me and all the support from everybody that watches the channel every single day. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. This is Scar City reporting uh, live in Warsaw. At the scene where there is forensics, there's a blue tent erected. It looks like it's outside, potentially a pub, maybe a Weatherspoons.